Toxic waste disposal is a critical environmental and public health concern. Improper handling and disposal of toxic waste can lead to severe pollution, health risks, and long-term environmental damage. 1. Secure Landfill Secure landfills are engineered facilities designed to safely dispose of hazardous and toxic waste. These landfills are constructed with multiple layers of liners to prevent the leaching of harmful substances into the surrounding soil and groundwater. Toxic waste is carefully contained and isolated from the environment in secure landfill sites. 2. Incineration Incineration involves burning toxic waste at high temperatures in specially designed facilities called incinerators. This method reduces the volume of the waste and converts it into less harmful ash and gases. However, incineration can release toxic pollutants into the air if not properly controlled. 3. Deep Well Injection Deep well injection involves injecting toxic waste deep underground into porous rock formations that are isolated from usable groundwater sources. This method aims to permanently store the waste, but there is a risk of contamination if the injection site is not properly selected and monitored. 4. Chemical treatment. Chemical treatment involves using chemical reactions to neutralize or break down toxic substances in the waste, making them less harmful or non-toxic. This method can be effective for certain types of hazardous waste, but the treatment process must be carefully managed to prevent secondary pollution. 5. Physical encapsulation. Physical encapsulation involves encapsulating toxic waste in a solid, impermeable material such as concrete or cement. This method isolates the waste and prevents its release into the environment. However, the long-term integrity of the encapsulating material must be ensured. 6. Biological treatment. Biological treatment uses microorganisms to break down toxic substances in the waste into less harmful compounds. This method can be effective for organic waste but may not be suitable for certain types of toxic chemicals. 7. Recycling and recovery. Recycling and recovery involve extracting valuable materials from toxic waste and reusing them in various industrial processes. This method reduces the amount of waste that needs disposal and conserves resources. However, not all toxic waste can be recycled or recovered. 8. Surface impoundments. Surface impoundments are shallow ponds or lagoons used to temporarily store liquid toxic waste. This method allows for the evaporation and settling of some contaminants before further treatment or disposal. However, poorly managed impoundments can pose a risk of leakage or overflow. 9. Cement Kiln Coprocessing Cement kiln coprocessing involves using cement kilns as a substitute for conventional incinerators to thermally treat hazardous waste. The high temperatures in cement kilns help break down toxic substances, and the waste becomes part of the cement product. 10. Plasma Arc Technology Plasma Arc Technology involves using extremely high temperatures generated by an electric arc to break down toxic waste into its constituent elements. The resulting gases can be used for energy production or further treatment. It is important to note that while these methods are used in various parts of the world, some are more sustainable and environmentally friendly than others. The choice of disposal method depends on the specific characteristics of the toxic waste, regulatory requirements, and the level of technological and financial resources available. In many cases, the best approach is to minimize the generation of toxic waste through source reduction and to prioritize recycling and treatment methods that promote environmental protection and human health. Additionally, international collaboration and knowledge sharing can help identify and implement the most effective and sustainable toxic waste disposal methods globally.